Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee, Business Building and Massage Marketing with me, Susan Bell. And today we're going to talk about the 15 to 30 minute window between your clients. And I was asked to explain how that could be made productive. And I don't think my answer is going to be the one you're looking for. However, I am going to explain to you what I use that time for. Um, Basically, I don't leave 15 minutes. I leave 30 or more. And here's the reason. A lot of my marketing technique is about relationship with the customer. So when the client gets off the table, I now have approximately 10 minutes to wrap up with that client, give them some homework as far as stretching in a door frame and all that sort of thing, and then asking them how they feel and reassessing the massage pulling out my planner and making sure that they have rebooked before they left. So it's not so much of a time for pr productivity in the office. I mean, sure, I have to clean my room, change the table, uh, and set up for the next client. That's not necessarily what I think you're asking me. Um, <clears throat> so I use that as a, as a, as a sum, sum up time to make sure that if, if I have to, I can get my client rebooked um, and finish up any conversation that I, I have to have with them. And then it gives me about 10 minutes to run to the ladies' room, uh, grab some coffee or water, um, eat some almonds or whatever the case may be, and then 10 minutes uh, to wait for the next client so that my clients never, hardly ever, run into each other because I want every client to feel like they, they are the only person who matters. And if you're running them back to back where they're all running into each other or even waiting, it's not the same as waiting for your client and being excited when they walk in the door. Um, and then of course it gives me a 10 minute warm up to get uh, assess what's going on, let them calm down from traffic, um, talk a little bit about what's, what's been going on in their lives so that I can assess how to get them on the table and address what's going on. Um, for example, I had a client come in and she normally has incredible lower back pain and that's usually what we focus on. However, one day she came in and she was really lethargic. And she's like, I couldn't even get out of bed this morning. I'm sorry I'm late. Couldn't get out of bed. I just don't know what's wrong with me. I think my thyroid medicine's off, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, let's change it up today. And you know, we're going to work on your lower back, so don't panic. But seeing you right now, I'm going to assess that you need some an invigorating massage as opposed to a relaxing massage. And um, we changed up the essential oil to a citrus so it was more lively and um, did a real, a real fast type of effleurage, uh, more of a lymphatic massage, a sports massage, um, very fast movements, and of course, deep work in the lower back like we always do. And when we were done, she was awake and alert and laughing and her color looked better. Um, and I had that extra 10 minutes to listen to her and assess her and all that sort of thing. And then at the end, wrap it up with um, a summary of why we did what we did and the feeling that she had. So in my opinion, 15 minutes is not enough. Uh, you need that half an hour in order to uh, wrap up and then assess new clients, get yourself 10 minutes and then my ideal day is a massage half an hour second massage an hour and then third massage half an hour and then fourth and go home those were my you know ideal days for me um, and that hour in between it does sound like a lot of time but that allows you time to grab lunch if you haven't uh, brought your lunch to the office it gives you enough time to go grab something and then eat it without wolfing it down or uh, really relaxing and making sure that you are refreshed. I always wanted my clients to get in my A game and that extra half an hour in between each client, if not an hour between second and third, um, really, really stepped up my game. In fact, I talked to my therapist, Sophie, and uh, told her about this. And I said, if you actually book, she said, I really can't do more than four. I really can't do more than four. And I said, that's absolutely fine. And we had mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, about sticking lunch in there uh, between two and three. And she thought about it and she said, you know, honestly, if I had that hour break, I think I could do five. And what would that do for her income? 
if she actually could do five and feel good because um, she was afraid she wouldn't give that fifth one her A game. Um, but with that hour break, she did feel that she could give a fifth client her A game. And imagine that, imagine five more clients uh, a week if you're working five days a week or even four more clients if you're working four more days a week that adds up to hundreds of dollars at the end of the month that extra hour in between could be the difference between you making uh, an extra six or eight hundred dollars a month just for spending four or five hours relaxing and eating and recharging your body remember if you're stressed out burnout you're going to transfer that to your client and your client is going to walk away with a mm, Oh, it was all right. I want my clients to walk out feeling like it was an amazing experience. And I want to walk away after a full day knowing that I'm, I'm legitimately tired, but it was an amazing day. So that half an hour, I think is critical. Uh, 15 minutes is not enough. And that to me is productive. I wouldn't worry about cleaning the room um, or doing soap notes till the end of the day. All those sort of things. Uh, maybe during lunch if you had that hour uh, you could do a few soap notes from the morning and then you wouldn't have as many to do at night but um, I would definitely make it personally uh, productive as opposed to uh, in the office productive so that's the video today I hope you enjoyed it and uh, leave your comments below I love to hear your responses and we will drink some coffee and talk to you soon bye bye